early activation of the penile implant is something that I discovered late in, in my career in doing penile implants. I realized by watching orthopedic surgeons treat their patients, you know, when you have knee surgery, the uh, patient in the recovery room has a gadget that actually bends the knee back and forth. Patients who get shoulder surgery, they go to rehab right away not to get a frozen shoulder. However, with penile implant surgery, the way I was trained was, well, you know, let it heal, bring the patient back four to six weeks later, and then activate the implant when it's not painful. Problem is, during that time, scar tissue shaped itself over the penile implant cylinders in the position that they were in. So if they were deflated or are there folds in the cylinder, scar tissue is going to form itself over these folds and trap the folds or a cylinder may slip from the corpora and then when it inflates, the distal tips will not be symmetrical into the glands of the penis. So early activation is very important. Now here's the problem. It is uh, painful and it is tender. So you have to figure out a way to get the patients motivated to do this. And the best way we have is to do it in a hot bath, flat on their back so that fluid will come out of the scrotum. And we start on post-op day number three. So if a patient has surgery on Friday, we'll start the inflation on a Monday. And we have the model of the pump there for the patient to see. And the first thing that we request is that for the patient to find the deflation valve because you do not want to inflate your implant if you cannot find the deflation. Why? Because you'll be up all the time and then scar tissue will form itself over a reservoir that doesn't have a lot of fluid and then you'll have auto-inflation later on when you get better at deflating the implant. You'll be putting more fluid than the scar tissue around the reservoir will allow and it will put pressure on the reservoir despite the fact of having a lockout valve and it will get auto-inflation. So it's very important to cycle the device, inflate, deflate, we do it twice a day, you do it uh, gradually, you increase the rigidity, you increase the amount of time the penis stays up. Now, to be able to do that, you have to have the ability to feel the deflation valve, as I mentioned, and to do that, the surgeon has to be very meticulous when doing the procedure. So we learned that less dissection is better for the patient, Surgery is not good for patients. So the less you do, the better it is. You want to also make sure that there's no bleeding around the pump because bleeding is very irritating for the body. It'll form a thick capsule of scar tissue around the pump. It'll be difficult for the patient to find a deflation valve. So you want to you have meticulous hemostasis. And some doctors put drains. We don't put drains because we close everything really well and then we use surgery flow, a hemostatic agent before we close the opening in the penis when we put the penile implant. And all these little details make a big difference. Uh, because we use the no-touch technique, we do not need to irrigate tremendous amount of irrigation, which swells the scrotum. And then again, you have to put a drain and the drain will stick out of the skin. And the patient needs to come back three days later to have the drain removed. We don't do that. We have no drains. So it's very important. These little details will allow to have much less uh, swelling and edema around the scrotum, and then you can activate and inflate and deflate the implant much quicker, stretch the cylinders, stretch the scar tissue around the cylinders, make sure that they're straight, that they're fully deployed, and then you get the full maximum size of your device, and that's very, very important. So our patients, they do that uh, for about a month after the surgery, and then you can gradually taper around uh, after the third week, a lot of patients are sexually active. You'll still have some tenderness. At about two months, you will not even feel that the pump is inside the patient.